Hello again chaps, I'm back with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at what the engine upgrades do to planes that were introduced with the Smuggler's Run update to Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, in short, the engine upgrades to both helicopters and planes do the exact same thing and that is they increase or multiply the thrust or thrust fall off values. So with helicopters, as you may have seen in my other video, what this means is that the ascent rate of the aircraft is improved. With planes, it simply means that its horizontal forward speed is improved. So I've got two of the exact same aircraft lined up here. And in this unscientific test, we're going to be driving them right down to the end of the bottom of the runway and crashing them into the prop. Now for this test here, both aircraft have got invincibility. The first aircraft is going to have a stock engine and then the next aircraft is going to have a fully upgraded engine. And hopefully we should see a difference in the results. Just to confirm the engine on this aircraft is stock. There should also be a slight time difference as well in how long it takes for each aircraft to get down to the bottom. So in Three, two, one, go. All I'm doing here is I'm simply applying full throttle, I'm not pressing any other buttons on the controller, seeing what speed the aircraft gets up to. Now, as you should have seen, the aircraft got up to a speed of 114 miles per hour. This is with the stock engine. So I'm just going to move this jet out of the way over here and get myself over to the other one. And this time we're going to use the upgraded engine. So just to confirm, we have applied the maximum level of engine upgrade and in the exact same format I'm just going to apply full throttle all the way down to the end here and see what speed we get up to. We'll do that in 3, 2, 1, go! Now the acceleration will be increased ever so slightly and the top speed should be increased for sure. Now we've already surpassed the 114 mile an hour that we saw previously. And we went on to a speed of 129 miles per hour. So that's an improvement of about 15 miles per hour. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in this aircraft and I'm going to reapply the stock engine. I'm going to get airborne. I'm going to get about 2,000 foot above the sea level. And I'm just going to do the next test to show the difference in top speed when you're actually in the air. So we've just surpassed a thousand feet. Okay, now we're at 2,300 feet almost. And we're just past 2,300 right now. So I'm just going to set a straight and level attitude on the aircraft. Try and be nice and stable and make sure we get the best results as possible. That's before the turbulence kicks in, of course. And the speed that we're looking at here is about 202, 203 miles an hour. Around that area, anyway. Now I'm just keeping the exact same attitude if I can. I'm just going to apply the maximum level of engine upgrade once again. And we should hopefully see an increase in the top speed. Of course I have to reset the straight and level attitude, which is about there. And as you can see we've surpassed 222 mile an hour here. So we've got at least a 20 mile an hour improvement. Now each plane will respond differently in terms of the engine upgrades, but 
in general, they will all have a top speed improvement of around 10 to 20 miles per hour. I will be doing separate videos showcasing all the aircraft from the Smuggler's Run update and their top speed values, both with stock engine and upgraded engines. So please check those videos out if you're interested. Hopefully this video has been informative enough for you. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully see you on the next one. Take care.